Hi guys, my name is Max and welcome back to my channel and today I'm bringing to you my Owls Readathon vlog. And I know what you're thinking, not another vlog. Well apparently some of you like it and requested it again and I'm not unsure why, but I'm gonna bring it to you guys anyway because who am I to judge your choices? But basically it is the start of the Owls and what I wanted to do was bring to you guys my TBR it has not changed from my TBR I posted the other day, so I'll leave it here, but everywhere I start my vlog is always showing you what I'm reading, so let's just get on to that. So if you'd listen to my TBR, you would know that I'm becoming a magic zoologist, and I'm excited to be a magic zoologist because nifflers, bow trackles, dragons, demigods. You know how I feel about all of the animals, so let's just get into the books that I'll be reading. So, now starting with the books that I need to become a magic a zoologist, I need Charms, and I'll be reading The Name of the Wind by Patrick Rothfuss. Now, I am 40 pages into that at the moment, and it is the 31st of the 3rd, so really excited. I got four extra days to start this one, so I was allowed to start this one on the 28th. However, I didn't. Um, I started it and read like 19 pages, and I've slowly been reading like... 10 pages a sitting, uh, but I last night when I was reading I put it down but I was like I'm starting to get really really interested so excited to see where this one goes. This one is a chunker and this one's probably going to take up most of my time. It's G's favourite book and who's not excited about it? So that is my charms. Four care of magical creatures. I am reading The Darkest Part of the Forest by Holly Black. Really excited about this one too. It's about a sleeping fae and I think two people wake it and they shouldn't. Don't do it. Herbology is the next one and I'm going to be reading The Woods by James Tiernan the Fourth and excited about this one. It's sci-fi. It's about people who were at school and then they were somehow transported to a different world. So yes. And last I need my potions class which I'll be reading Escaping from Houdini by Perry Mascalco on audio. So they're the four books that I need to read and they are going to be my priority, but I've picked ones for the others. Ancient Runes is first, and for that one, Scarlet by Marissa Meyer. Excited about this one. I think it's going to be a good read. And it's the second book from Cinder, and I really like Cinder, so see how that one goes. Next is Arithmacy, and that is Monstrous Volume 3 Haven by Marjorie Louie and Sana Takeda. Another one I'm really, really excited about. I've got a few graphic novels in here to hopefully make it go quicker. Next up is Defense Against the Dark Arts, which is Reducto, a title that starts with R. Red Queen by Christina Henry. Excited. It's more of a dark fairy tale retelling, which I'm cool about. Then we have Divination, which is a book that is set in the future. And that is going to be A Big Ship at the Edge of the Universe by Alex White, another book recommended to me by Jess from Jess Reads Books. And excited about this one. It's sci-fi. Who doesn't love it? My mum's outside watering the plants. It's weird. Very weird. Hello. <laughs> this is my life. Um, then we have Muggle Studies, which is a contemporary, and I'll be reading Tyler Johnson Moore's here by Jay Coles, which has been on my TBR for a good couple of years now. And then last is Transfiguration, which is sprayed edges or red cover, and that is going to be Shades of Magic, The Steel Prince, Volume 1 by V.E. Schwab. Yes, so excited. So, that is my TBR. Right now, I just thought I'd start the vlog. I've got my face on, so the thumbnail's gonna be okay. And right now, I'm going to be editing my videos for the week. So, so my wrap-ups to go at midnight tonight, my book hauls to go up Thursday. I also have an announcement for the Quarterly Club on when our live show will be for An Ember in the Ashes, which is the 27th of April. And um, yeah, so I'm going to be editing as much as possible for those. Um, and then later tonight, I'm going to keep reading The Name of the Wind because I'm excited about it and I'm excited to try to knock out some more pages uh, before the readathon actually starts. But that's it from me now, guys. Um, this vlog hopefully is going to be pretty fun filled. Um, what I have done is I've got a ring light, which I'm excited about, which I will show you a clip for shortly. And I'm also tomorrow ordering the Billy bookcases. So they will arrive, if not in this vlog, in my next week's vlog. I don't know if I'm doing fortnightly or weekly vlogs. I'll see how I go. Um, but you, uh, they will arrive at some point and then I'll be relocating all of my stuff over the Easter break downstairs into um, the spare room so my creative space is kind of out of my sleeping space because I haven't really been sleeping very well because there's shit everywhere and it's cluttered and it makes me anxious. So that's what I'm going to be doing but that is it for me at the moment guys. I will chat to you guys later.
Does this mean I'm legit now? Or... Okay guys, we're going to test the new Luvo 18 inch ring light. I'm excited. Okay, that did nothing. Try again. You're at a bad angle, but let's give it a go. <gasps> oh! Oh wow! Oh my god! <laughs> it's so bright! Look at this one. <gasps> Ooh. Look at the light! <laughs> yes! Oh, I wonder how this is going to light up my bookshelf. <gasps> what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it in front of my bookshelf and I'm going to close the blinds. That's what I'm going to do. Oh my goodness, guys. It basically lights up the whole room. I love it. This is so nice. I might even be able to do get ready with me's with this. I'm too excited about it. The day is nearly over and we are nearly at the first day of the magical readathon for the owls and I'm so so excited. So what I'm going to do is I'm in bed now and I'm going to continue reading The Name of the Wind. I'm up to page 42 and I'm hoping to get through 50, 50 pages let's go for. I'm getting really really into it so I want to continue on. Uh, I have a video edited and ready to upload for tomorrow. It'll be scheduled to go up at midnight which is midnight my time which I'm pretty excited about. I feel like I've been in a bit of a creativity slump and like a filming slump and I just haven't really wanted to do it but today I got in, I got it done and it felt so good. So I've edited that video and I'm halfway through editing Thursday's video but what I'm going to do now is I'm going to relax and rest and read some pages of this book and then go to bed and start tomorrow with the first day of the L. So I'm going to probably try to read a graphic novel and then continue on with The Name of the Wind and hopefully Smack out some pages because this is a chunker. Hi guys, happy first day of the Magical Readathon. I'm very, very excited to get started and hopefully smash my TBR and I hope you smash your TBR as well. But for now, I'm off to work. It is the first day of the Magical Readathon and I just got home from the gym. That's why my face is this red. Um, and I'm excited. It's the first day. We're going to smash out this readathon. I am going to put dinner on. We're having Shepherd's Pie for dinner. And then I'm going to try to knock off one of my graphic novels because obviously I'm in the middle of The Name of the Wind and I don't really want to start another big book at this stage. So I'm going to um, probably try. I think I'm going to read The Woods by James Tiernan the Fourth. Uh, and I'm really excited about it. It's a recommended book by Jess, so really, really excited. And hopefully I love it. But my arm's shaking at the moment because of Jim. Uh, but I'll probably give you some dog footage. I'll go down and show you Diesel. And then I will start reading The Woods. Hey, honey. Hey, honey. What are you doing? Do we want pets, do we? Do we want pets, do we? Do we want pets? Do we want pets? Hey? Just big cuddles. Just big cuddles. And everyone gets a view of my double chin. Thanks for that, Diesel. Oh, you got one too. Have you got one too? Have you got the double chin too? Oh, yeah, everyone wants to see that. Hello? This is why I need to go to the gym. Chocolate. And soft drink. So I just finished The Woods, Volume 1, The Arrow, and it was really good. I really enjoyed it. I loved the sci-fi twist on the graphic novel. I loved the kind of survival tactics in here. I thought it was really, really cool. And it was really entertaining sci-fi, and I freaking loved it. I can't wait to get my hands on more of these, because this was a really good time. But 
that is my first book done for the readathon and that was for Herbology with uh, which is a book with a plant on the cover and I'm one book down so that's really really good I'm still obviously reading the name of the wind <laughs> on page 72 so hopefully I'll get through another 50 or so pages tonight and I can keep plotting through my TBR but currently we're at a really good stage but that is it for me at the moment I'm going to cook dinner and I will talk to you guys hey guys so I am finished day one of the hours readathon I am putting my book down for the night and I got up to page 96 of the name of the wind by Patrick Rothfuss and I hit myself in the face but that's fine and I'm really enjoying it actually I'm finding it a really slow read and I feel like it's because it's high fantasy there's a lot of detail so you've got to kind of go slow because you can't really miss anything but I'm getting about 20 pages done a night which isn't a lot but look shit happens so i'm gonna put this one down for tonight and keep going hopefully get hopefully get some more time to read it i've got a whole month to read it so i'm not too concerned but obviously i kind of want to get it done shortly so i can get on to the other books as well and hopefully it just keeps getting better from here so that is it for me today guys i will see you on day two Hi guys, so it has been a hot minute since I've seen you guys, so I thought I'd keep you updated on where I'm at. So it is now day three of the Owls Readathon, and I am just uploading my video to go up at midnight tonight. Um, yesterday, I have, basically I haven't done any reading, which is why you haven't seen me. Yesterday was Tuesday, and I went to the movies with a friend from work, and we saw Captain Marvel in preparation for Endgame, which comes out later this month. And what else did I do? And then I got home late and went straight to bed. And tonight um, we had every Wednesday go to the pub and get a crummy for dinner. So I did that tonight. And now it's about 9.30. I'm going to wait for my video to upload. But right now I'm just going to watch a little bit of Jeffree Star. But that is it for me at the moment. Tomorrow I will start my audiobook. I have to wait for my credit to come through for Audible. I'll start the audiobook of Escaping from Houdini by Kerry Maniscalco. And yeah, so that's where I'm at. So still about 90 pages through the name of the wind and I will keep you updated for where I am at. I will also get my fairy loot box tomorrow. So I'll probably unbox that for you guys on the weekend. So we have some content and I've also got some really cool makeup stuff arriving this month. So um, I can't wait to show you guys that. I might do a get ready with me or something like that for my channel so you guys can see me playing with some new makeup. But this is not a makeup channel and I'm not very good at it. So don't keep the hopes high. Um, but that is it for me today, guys. I will talk to you guys a Decadent as far as envelopes went. The paper was a shiny ink blue, and the letters were a swirling silver and gold. Little stars littered the border, as if someone had blown glitter across the page. It reminded me immediately of the Moonlight Carnival. I traced my finger over the glossy finish, and opened the letter up. Hi guys, it is day four of the Owls Readathon, and I just thought I'd check in to show you where I'm at. So I just got home from getting my nails done. We have a little pink moment going on, which I am living for. Um, but reading wise, I have been listening to an audiobook today on my way to my nail appointment and on my way home, which was Escaping from Houdini by Kerry Maniscalco. I am 45 pages in currently, and I just, I really love this series, and I'm really glad to be back in it, and I'm a little bit nervous, um, but living for it. Also, my fairy loot arrived today, which I will unbox um, tomorrow or Saturday for you guys, so that'll be fun as well. Um, I'm going to dive back into the name of the wind tonight and hopefully catch up a little bit there and read another 20, 30 pages um, if I can and try to get as far as possible into that one. That's one that I'm going to be trying to finish work on very hard over the weekend to try to get a lot of it pumped out uh, so I can move on to my TBR because there's a lot on it. Um, but that is it for me for the update currently. I will check in with you guys later. Hi guys, it is day five of the Owls, and I don't know how this happened because day five I've been deep diving in the beauty community on YouTube. <laughs> I don't know how this happened. I clearly am not a beauty guru. But somehow I am addicted to Jeffree Star and James Charles. And I've been binging all their videos. So currently, when I should be reading The Name of the Wind, I'm watching their one of their older videos, Messy Makeup Trivia. I, I don't know how it happened. I thought I would update you guys. I've already updated on my Instagram today because I haven't been doing that because I'm a mess. I am reading Escaping from Houdini by Kerry Maniscalco. I'm up to page 81 on that one. That is an audiobook, so I only listen to that one in the car. And I am no further 
through the name of the wind as I was yesterday. <laughs> You're a mess. But that is it for me at the moment, guys. I was going to read, but I'm not going to now. I'm just going to watch this and I'll be reading tomorrow. I promise I will not go on a beauty YouTube binge. I will be reading the name of the wind and just living life. So I will catch up with you guys tomorrow. Mm. Hey guys, it is day six of the hours and I have just woken up and opened up my blinds and I'm ready to start my day. I don't have much on. Um, I might go for a drive out to the beach this afternoon, but at this stage I thought I would bring you along for my day so far. Um, so this morning I've been going through my Instagram, my Twitter, my Facebook, <laughs> things like that. Just catching up my emails um, so every morning I normally go through those few things before I get out of bed and then because it's the weekend it's a little bit later so it's about 9 30 normally I am up at 6 to go to work and yeah so I'm just gonna get my day started I'm gonna go for a shower I'm gonna go wash my hair and then I'm probably gonna have breakfast and yeah to go from there hopefully I get a lot of reading done today but we will see so guys, I just checked my emails a little bit further. I thought to make would arrive yesterday and I didn't see it. So I just tracked it and was like, where the hell is it? So the way our house is, we have a big shed kind of at the front and the house is kind of on an angle at the side. And because it's rural and it's out of town, when the mail people come, if it doesn't fit in the mailbox, they'll put it somewhere. So a makeup palette is fucking somewhere in the shed. So now I've got to get up and go over and try to find where this makeup palette is and fucking hope it's in good condition so that is what we might do today i might show you the makeup palette um but we will see so i'll go get this makeup palette and um hopefully it's in good condition <laughs> Happy day six. I just finished playing with my Morphe palette and I'm absolutely loving it. It is the James Charles one and the colors are beautiful and I'm not very good at makeup so I've only been like giving it a brief go today and my hair's still wet. But what I thought I would do right now is give you an unboxing of fairy loot and I'm so so excited. I don't want to hold this off anymore. I had the original thought of oh my god why don't I do my makeup like in purple and white like the box but too hard. <laughs> Uh, basically, I'm just going to give you a quick little unboxing in my vlog, so let's just get into it. Let's not take too much time. And open him. Ooh, look how nice that is. Let's just get into it. So first we have the item card, and it is the March, and the theme is favorites. So really cool. Um, this one comes with like two books, and it's just full of surprises, so I can't wait. So this is what I see. A little bit going on here. I'll dive straight into here, where we have... Alice in Wonderland cotton socks. So really, really cute. I'm not a big long sock wearer. It doesn't get um, cold enough here for that. So that is them unwrapped. Really, really cute. So let's keep diving in. The next thing we have is the three year anniversary collectible. Looks a, looks a little bit like that. 
really really cool I'm going to put that on my pin wall over there like that over there let's keep moving the next thing we have is bookworm page tabs and this is such a good idea I've seen a lot of people do um, like tabbing of their books I know Chloe from books with Chloe does it these are the ones we got so we got humor romance plot point quote heartwarming and issues and really really good they've got like all the things you kind of need to pin up uh, to tab so I love that next up I see this now I think this is a bookmark so this is a metal bookmark and the front says I turned my nightmares into fireflies and caught them in a jar by Lainey Taylor so it's really really cool and the artwork is from KDP Letters, and it's obviously inspired by Strange the Dreamer, and I love that. That's so good, and such a really good quality item as well. As we keep diving in, the next thing I see is some little tarot cards. And we have Wheel of Fortune and The Fool, so both really, really amazing. And these are, I believe, Six of Crows inspired, and I think they are adorable. All right, next up is a scarf, I believe. And it is this, so it is kind of like a scarf with a bookshelf on it, which is amazing. It's got Illuminate and Ember in the Ashes, Red Rising. I've heard whinging because there's a few typos like on the book covers that they're not exactly what the book, like Children of Bottom, Blood and Bone is missing like an L. Um, but I don't really care. I know a lot of people are like, oh, that's not really great, but it's fine to me. I think this is really, really good. I'm not a big scarf wearer because it's not cold here, but I feel like it's cute. It's adorable and it's bookshelf themed. So, okay, the next thing I see is a promotional material for Sherwood by Megan Spooner coming out April 18th. And then I see the first book, which is Viper by Bex Hogan. Hey, Bex. I'm Bex too, so that's fun. So this is the first book in the Isle of Storm and Sorrow series, and I think it's really, really cool. So I'll read the back. It says, he will make me a killer or he will have me kill it. That is my destiny. 17-year-old Marianne is fated to one day become the Viper, defender of the Twelve Isles, but reigning Viper stands in her way. Corrupt and merciless, he prowls the seas in his warship, killing with impunity, leaving only pain and suffering in his wake. He's the most dangerous man on the ocean, and he is Marianne's father. She was born to protect the islands, but can she fight for them if it means losing her family, her home, and the boy she loves, and perhaps even her life? A brave heroine, an impossible dilemma, an epic new fantasy trilogy on set on the high seas. Love this. I think the um, artwork on the front is amazing, and I just, I think it's going to be a really, really fun one. And it's signed. Didn't expect that. And it's got... Peace has a cost. Legends hide in secret. Love harbors betrayal. So really, really cool. Pr quite amazing first book in this box so far. Okay, the next thing I see, guys, is artwork. And I'm so, so excited about them because I'm looking at them before I'm showing you. And <laughs> they're amazing. So this is the first one. And it is based off An Ember in the Ashes, obviously. I actually read An Ember in the Ashes last month. And it is the quarterly book club book pick. So we will be talking about this one on the 27th of April, I believe. For more details, go to see Book Gross channel. But I think that's an incredible artwork. And there's so many more to show you. The next one. It is Jules and Carden from The Cruel Prince, and I love this one. Jules has got the dagger at his throat, and <laughs> it's just so good. I cannot wait to see the conclusion of this trilogy next year. Last, but definitely not least, is this is this artwork here inspired by Warcross by Marie Lu. Now, I have not read Warcross, so I don't know this character, but this artwork kind of makes me want to read it because she's got colourful hair. She looks like a badass and got tattoos and everything. She's just a really, really cool person, I think. So it definitely makes me want to pick up Dwarcross. And last but not least, guys, we have another book, which is our main book of the month because our main book normally comes in this little one. And there's a lot of merch in here. And the book is... To Best, to Best the Boys by Mary Webb. That cover, again, really, really cool. It looks like a maze. We also have stained green edges, which is amazing. And let's just have a looky under here. Pretty plain. So I don't know anything about this one either. I actually haven't heard about it, but it says the task is simple. Don a disguise, survive the labyrinth, best the boys. Every year for the past 54 years, the residents of Pinsbury Port have received a mysterious letter inviting all eligible aged boys to compete for an esteemed scholarship 
to the all-male Steamwick University. The poorer residents look to see if their names are on the list, the wealthier look to see how likely their sons are to survive, and Ren Teller opens it to see if she can derive which substances the ink and parchment are created from using her father's microscope. In the province of Caldron, where women train in the wifely duties and men pursue college education, 16-year-old Ren Teller wants nothing more than to become a scientist. As the poor of her seaside town fall prey to the deadly disease, she and her father work desperately to find a cure, but when her mum succumbs to it as well, Ren decides to take her future into her own hands through the annual all-male scholarship competition. With her cousin Selene by her side, the girls don disguises and enter Mr. Holmes' labyrinth to best the boys and claim the scholarship prize. Except not everyone is ready for a girl who doesn't know her place, and not everyone survives the deadly maze. Welcome to the labyrinth. Um... Oh my god, that sounds really, really good. I love the artwork on the front. I love that there's a girl in, like, a really pretty dress going through the maze, which is pretty impractical for a maze, if I do say so myself. But really, really cool. Um, excited to get into this one. And it is also signed, which is amazing. As usual, it comes with some artwork and the letter from the author on the front, as well as our fairy scoop and matching bookmark. So really, really cool. Loving this. Really, really good box. I think both books are really intriguing to me, which is great. And the artwork was phenomenal. So that is it for me at the moment, guys. That was the unboxing for the March Fairy Loot Anniversary Edition. Um, I will chat to you guys later. Hey guys, so it is Saturday night. It is about 11 p.m. and I'm picking up The Name of the Wind. I just got home from um, some dinner out at I like a beach and yeah just catching up with some friends so now I'm in bed I've taken my hair out of what I had like a side sort of bun situation and it's gone wavy which is always nice um, and it's actually clean because I washed it today so winning at life so I'm gonna read the name of the wind um, for a little bit before I go to bed on tomorrow's plan I'm going to edit um, my anticipated reads video for the next three months April May June and schedule that to go up at midnight tomorrow night and yeah I've got not too much to do tomorrow I'll meal prep for the week stuff like that but yeah just gonna have a casual day at home um, but at the moment I'm going to read and I'll catch up with you guys later hey guys so I have been working all day on my shelves and cleaning up my room it's filthy at the moment but I'll give you a little sneak peek so that was where my first bookshelf was, then my middle bookshelf, and then that bookshelf. So they're all getting removed. All my books are now downstairs in the room in which will be my new filming room and my new basically bookshelf room because they just don't fit in here anymore. Um, so yeah, so that's what I've been doing for a few hours now. Um, carting all my books downstairs and then cleaning up the shelves. I have a whole box through of just merch that goes across my shelves, so that's fun. Um, and now Dad and I are going to attempt to take the white bookshelf out and the other one that's in the hallway out and put them downstairs and then I'm going to turn the black bookcase around on the side so I can just go under my TV and keep like my DVD player and stuff like that. It's been a busy day, um, but you know, once it's cleaned up and looks good, I will feel a lot better. So this is what my big day has entailed. So obviously my big bookshelf that was there's gone and then I had a medium one there and then this one was up that way over here. Um, so now that's all moved, I've got, still I've got my picture of Not All That Wander uh, Lost there. Um, then my, my Samantha Wills case, uh, a few photos, my Bones collection because I'm still watching that. My degree is up there. And yeah, it's all, um... It's all coming together. My TV's up there. That's gonna get that's gonna get painted over Easter break. So everything's kind of. I feel really relaxed. I've got my little rug down there, which I normally take pictures on. And yeah, it's kind of all coming together. So at the moment, I am just running through my video that's going up at midnight, and then we're gonna eat dinner and watch MKR, and then I'm gonna get back to reading The Name of the Wind. I got up to page 120 earlier today, which I think is pretty good effort, and I'm gonna try to get through some more. Uh, but yeah, pretty, not a very good reading weekend, but a pretty good weekend anyway. I've got a lot done today, and I'm very sweaty, so I'm gonna go take a shower, and yeah, so all my books now are downstairs in the room that I'm going to now use as my library and where I'm going to film and everything. So I will show you guys that later in the week because my bookshelf should be here Tuesday. So in my next vlog, you should see all of that. I think I'm going to finish this vlog tonight. So you are getting basically a week of vlogging. And yeah, I hopefully can get you a vlog every week for the whole hours readathon. But let's not get too crazy. So I will chat to you guys later. 
after I finish my reading for the night. Perhaps the greatest faculty our minds possess is the ability to cope with pain. Classic thinking teaches us of the four doors of the mind which everyone moves through according to their needs. First is the door of sleep. Sleep offers us a retreat from the world and all its pain. Sleep marks passing time, giving us distance from things that have hurt us. When a person is wounded, they will often fall unconscious. Similarly, someone who hears traumatic news will often swoon or faint. This is the mind's way of protecting itself from pain by stepping through the first door. Second is the door of forgetting. Some wounds are too deep to heal or too deep to heal quickly. In addition, many memories are simply painful and there is no healing to be done. The saying time heals all wounds is false. Time heals most wounds, the rest are hidden behind this door. Third is the door of madness. There are times when the mind is dealt such a blow it hides itself in insanity. While this may not seem beneficial, it is. There are times when reality is nothing but pain, and to escape that pain, the mind must leave reality behind. Last is the door of death, the final resort. Nothing can hurt us after we are dead. Or so we have been told. Hey guys, so it is day eight of the Owls Readathon, and I should have clocked off and told you where I was at last night, but I didn't. So I'm gonna do that right now, and this is going to be the end clip of the vlog. So where I'm at currently, I am about 143 pages in Escaping from Houdini by Carrie Maniscalco. It's my audiobook. I'm loving it like I normally do her audiobooks. They're really detailed and fun, and I love Audrey Rose and I love Thomas, so I'm excited to see where the journey takes us on this one. And I am 132 pages into The Name of the Wind by Patrick Rothfuss. Yes, this book is a lot longer than I thought it would, but I'm really enjoying it, so I'm not going to apologize for anything. Um, so that is where I'm at. First week is now done and dusted, and I have finished one challenge so far, which was Herbology, and I'm working on my charms and my potions. So that's it for this week, guys. I hope you enjoyed my blog. If if you did like this video please give a big thumbs up subscribe if you like to see more and have not already and chat to me down in the comments let me know if you are doing the hours and if you are let me know where you're up to and how you're going and what you've read so far i would love to hear but that is it for me today guys i make videos every monday and thursday and i'll see you on a new one bye